Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a small food haul for you from Save a Lot and Aldi's. Um, this is going to be a shorter video, so let me get right into the one item that, well, actually two items that I did get from Aldi's because the big one does need to go in my freezer, and that is my Christmas ham. I grabbed two small bags of pistachio roasted with sea salt, one for me, one for honey, and my big item is my spiral ham from Aldi's. Now, I have been buying these Appleton Farms spiral hams for I couldn't even begin to tell you how many years. For as long as there has been all these, I want to say I started buying them maybe like three years after all these opened. So that's quite a while. And the reason I love these hams is there is not a ton of fat on them and they are not overly salty. I bought hams in different supermarkets many years ago, disappointed with some of them. I remember the one year I bought a ham at Walmart, everybody literally spit the ham out when they went to take a bite, and that was because the damn ham was way too salty. Oh my god, it was disgusting. And I felt bad because I spent like $30 on this damn ham, I couldn't even bring myself to actually eat a slice the next day with eggs, which is what I usually love to do after Christmas. Next day, eggs and ham. It's a really good breakfast. And no, no, this ham, I wound up cutting a lot of it up for ham and bean soup. I just couldn't. It, oh my God, it, it was just too salty. So Appleton Farms, they do hams right. And I just like the spiral ham because it's just so much easier to just, you know, take it off with a fork. And um, again, it's perfectly, perfectly cut and it is just the right tasting ham, not excessive salt, not excessive fat. It does come with a glaze mix. Uh, this year I'm gonna get some jarred cherries and I'm gonna use maybe like a can of cherry cola to mix in with the um, brown sugar glaze this year because it's going to be going in my electric roaster and what I think I'm going to do is in between the layers of the ham um, sprinkle like the cherries and then like so far into the um, roasting with the ham in I'm going to turn around and brush the um, glaze on that I'm going to actually mix the cherry coke into so that should be really really good this is a 13.17 pound spiral ham and i paid 22.26 for it at all these so that was my main thing today in all these go and grab my spiral ham for christmas I grabbed some White Castle Classic Cheese Sliders. I've never understood why Atlantic City never had on the boardwalk a White Castle. I would have thought of all the restaurants, and they had a variety of restaurants on the boardwalk. Why there never was a White Castle really, really stumped me. Um, I would love it if they would bring a White Castle to my area or even somewhere in Pennsylvania would be nice. Never, never really understood why. I think it's time that Wendy's and McDonald's and Burger King get a bit of competition. You know, they've all been well established, so they need something to give them competition. I definitely think White Castle would give them some well deserved competition. I mean, I would love to be able to go to White Castle. And, you know, get get a few of their burgers or even just use like DoorDash or something. And if we have one, you know, grab some food. I really, really would love to see in Hazelton somewhere down the road. So I grabbed a Pick 5 Mix and Match from Save-A-Lot. 
and this is chicken strips. I grabbed them. I grabbed two packs of General Tso's chicken. Now, this and the orange chicken, which I got also, over rice or over oriental noodles is a really good meal in and of itself. It's just so darn tasty and so easy. Really, the only prep time you have would be for your rice or your noodles because these are done in a few minutes in the oven. Um, but I love these and I miss that we don't have save a lot anymore. I was like to save a lot in Wolf's Fair. Um, it just like, what the heck, you know? That, uh, we don't have one in town anymore. I miss these because I always kept these on hand in my freezer. So I have two of the orange chicken. Again, rice or oriental noodles. Um, that's a good meal right there, you know? So this is bright and early. I'm thinking tomorrow morning, uh, maybe making a nice cheesy omelet for Ronnie and I. And have uh, some bacon with it and some OJ. That'd be good. So, grabbing some soups, because um, Ronnie likes his cup of soup. So we've got three shrimp. Um, I'm going to wait for shrimp. Yeah, four. Label came out that one. I grab some beef. And that's for, that honestly is for him. Um, I grabbed three shrimp. Or, no. Yeah, I grabbed a few shrimp too. Here is, um, several beef. Some microwave bacon. A pack of the shrimp flavored ramen. Ramen noodle and chicken flavor. Um, what could I say? You know, like I said, this was a small haul. But, you know, think of the PNR haul I did, which was all in the same day. Really not such a small haul when you realize they were my stops after um, PNR. But the PNR in and of itself, I wanted to do a separate haul. Because um, I wanted to go over with you guys, like, how much things cost. And um, just give you a feel for, you know, what kind of store this is. It's a really cool discount store. I absolutely love it. Wish we had one in Hazleton. I really do. Um, and I don't you know, enjoy having save a lot here in town. I do enjoy all these. Um, sometimes I do find a few things, though. The prices seem to be a little high. Um, I don't know, you know. And so that was why I kind of relied on save a lot more for a lot of things. But, you know, as I said, the store moved out unexpectedly. There was two stories going around. Um, one, they said that someone found, I don't know, a rat in the store or mouse or something. And then the other one was that there was a problem with the ceiling leaking. There is a new food store in there. Um similar to key foods that moved in down in the uh, Churchill Mall and I thought it was Food Line. Um, no, that was uh, key foods. And it's a very similar kind of supermarket that opened up there. I really wish a PNR would have come there instead. So I don't know, maybe I'll have to start a um, a uh, change.org petition or something for PNR to consider coming here. So at least if I knew that they considered it and then didn't because they couldn't find, you know, a decent space or something, okay, I would understand. But, you know, 
to like not even consider town well i don't know you know um so i don't know maybe i will start a petition down the road see if i could get some signatures on it and see if we could at least get the folks from pnr to come this town and see if it might be worth it especially when they realize the you know elderly population we have with fixed income um a lot of people collecting and everything so yeah i really think that store would do good in my town you know who doesn't like to save money well guys sorry so short but as i said both the pnr and the rest of my items were all bought the same day i just divided um my hauls up into two different videos so if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up if you haven't already hit my subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified every time i upload a video thank you so so much for watching guys take care and please stay safe and i will see you all on my next one good night